for them it is play. Um, I, I mean, for myself and for the other assistants, I'm assuming, we really try just to allow the kids to succeed. With whatever task they are doing, we want them to succeed, build confidence, because it, it will spill over into harder tasks that we would like them to do. So it's just celebrating with them. The smallest thing we celebrate, and they love it. So and I think that's why we all love it. You know, we bring in a lot of fun play and tasks that it doesn't look like they're working and it doesn't feel like they're working, but they actually are. Um, at the water table with the squirt bottles, it's a lot of fine motor. It's actually really difficult for them to squeeze to make the water come out. But for the rest of us looking on, they're spraying water and sometimes us, and we just have fun with it. But to them, they're actually strengthening their hands so that they can do pencil grasps as they get older. I actually went to school to be a uh, special needs assistant. Um, decided after I had kids that that's what I wanted to do and went and did it and then stumbled across this program and thought this is the perfect fit. It's, I love the age that they are. Everything to them is, is fun. Um, they're happy every single day and it's play. We play, we have fun, and they succeed, and it's, it's a win-win for the kids and for us. Definitely, like I will take uh, tips from our OT for fine motor. Uh, definitely help my, my one child uh, with his pencil grasp and um, tasks that he has to use his hands for. Uh, my daughter uh, struggled with speech when she was a little bit younger, and I didn't even know that you know, this type of program exists. Um, she no longer struggles, but I still, in our day, will put in little bits of our speech therapist items. So, it's interesting. I honestly love coming to work every day. Um, every day is something new. Um, and we come in, we all love it, we all love and care for these kids like they're our own. And when they're having a bad day, we really try and make the smallest things better for them. And when they're having a great day, we just, we challenge them a little bit more, push them a little bit further and they succeed and they, they glow and which makes us happy and proud. And it's almost like we are their proud parents looking after them here before they go back home. Like our therapists are excellent. Amy is excellent at changing a, a typical task and changing it slightly. And it's a brand new item, brand new game and the kids just, they're in it, they're involved, they love it. Uh, so the parents can figure out how to tweak things at home to make them more interested in, in the stuff they have in their house. Um, and I know parents, they just, they often will um, thank us and you know, our kids have so much fun here and they just love coming here. And uh, Mondays we'll hear, oh, they wanted to come back all weekend and we had to tell them the school was closed. So it's nice to hear that they want to be here and that their parents are comfortable sending them here to spend their day with us. We do a lot of crafts. Um, they do, we, we did a gingerbread series. So they built a gingerbread man first and it was items on a piece of paper and they practiced it a couple of times to know exactly how they wanted it to look. Um, we'll do that for a couple of days and then we'll bring out the glue and they'll glue it and. I mean, they're happy, they're proud, and they take it home. Uh, we have a lot of building blocks in the classroom, and yeah, as they progress, they build castles and garages and other items they bring in. They'll bring out dolls and stuffies, and they'll build houses for them. And it's really fun to watch them change their play as they get older and as their confidence grows. PIP is a wonderful, wonderful place to come, whether you're a child or we're lucky enough, we get to work here. Um, but it's, it's, a, it's a welcoming spot where they can come and feel safe and loved um, and grow. Like to see them when, they're, when they first start at the age of three till we have to say goodbye at kindergarten, we get to see, I think, the, the funnest years. Um, they're curious, they're excited about everything, they love everything. And so I think we get to have the their best part is from three till five and we get it.